Hello, in this video I want to show you how to use the new node intersection filter mode. If you are not familiar with filters, then please first watch our introduction to filters video. For this tutorial, open TLEX and click on samples in the start page and then find filter option explanations in the samples list and click on it and press F5 to go to the filter F5 tool. This sample has four simple entries uh, all centered around the usage example element. The usage example element has two attributes that we are using here, an example attribute and a translation attribute. These are the boxes that appear under F1. First entry has an example that only has the example filled in and not the translation and another separate example on a different sense that has the translation filled in but not the example. So this entry has an example and a translation, but not on the same element or node. The second entry has an example and a translation, both on the same node. The third entry has an example only, and the fourth entry has a translation only. Right, so under filter F5, under the show column, we scroll down and tick the two boxes, example, double colon, example, and example, double colon, translation. Make sure the two boxes have tick marks in them. Um, and you'll note by default that the any of or option or mode automatically selects. That means that since we have two conditions ticked, exa has example and has translation, an entry will pass the filter if either this condition or this condition are met. Then the entire entry passes the filter. So if we click apply filter, we'll see that all four of these elements filtered four of five all four of these entries pass the filter because all four entries contain either an example or a translation right let's unapply that filter and change the mode to and and click apply filter again now we see that only two entries pass the filter. The one that contains an example and a translation on different senses, because the entry as a whole contains a example and a translation, just not at the same place in the document tree. This entry passes the filter also because the entry as an example and it has a translation. They happen to both be in the same on the same element. Now sometimes we specifically only want to find those cases where the ticked conditions in the filter list um, are all a match on a specific element only. In other words, say we wanted to find examples that have both an example and a translation. We don't want to find these cases, we only want to find these cases. Now that is where node intersection comes in. Intersection just means the intersection of all sets of matching nodes within an entry. Uh, you don't need to remember it that way. Uh, but watch what happens now if I take node intersection 
and then apply this filter again. Now our entry list is filtered down only to that one entry that contains uh, an example element with both an example and a translation. Now this is very useful in numerous situations.